here's the uh, readout for this antenna on the fire department's uh, tower. If this thing ever focuses. And you can see here, this is 10 dBs right here, and it's sort of averaging a little bit around 10, 11, 12 dBs. So it's right on the uh, edge of being considered out of spec. But you can see that the uh, frequency response is throughout the whole range, from except for around the 20s here. This is like uh, 130 right here. But from 130 on up to 1000 megahertz, it, it's, it's tuning into that wide band frequency range. So it's, it's, it looks similar than, to the antenna that we had in the uh, police department's uh, tower. But the proof is in the pudding, and that's when we actually transmit some uh, signals through the antenna to make sure that it really is that inefficient, or if it is efficient, uh, sometimes the transmission line is a little bit longer and it could give you a false reading in this test equipment here, and I don't have it set up to take that under consideration, so let's uh, continue. In comparison to these telescopic antennas that comes with a, a scanner. If you get a new scanner, it'll come with a sort of a telescopic uh, antenna with it to use as a, as a scanning antenna. But look at the frequency response of that particular antenna. It's not a straight line like you would see in a disc, disc tone cone antenna. You get these deep valleys and hills, valleys and hills. So which, the valleys is where it's uh, resonating uh, okay, except for this part here. And th that's the part where it's uh, tuned to. So here we'll see maybe 130 for something, whatever. And it's not consistent throughout the, the range of the band. Let's see what happens if I just lower this down. And that right there looks like it would be tuned to UHF. And look how it changes the whole waveform of that antenna. Let's see if I'm correct. Yep, it's around four, it's around UHF range. If I go longer, around 16 inches, 16 inches on that, it's gonna shift right into the uh, 150 range. And it did right on the spot just about. Then you have a harmonic here in the five, 600 megahertz range. So that's why a single whip antenna or a clothes hanger or something like that is, is not optimal for scanning because you want to scan the whole spectrum of the band of, of the frequencies instead of, you know, a little bit here and there. Unless all you want to do is listen to UHF or just listen to VHF, then a single band antenna here or dual band antenna would work uh, okay. Only if you want to listen to 440 or 144 megahertz. But if you want to listen to everybody in the whole range, uh, the disc cone antenna would, would definitely tune into all of the ranges, not just certain segments of it. And that's a big difference between this guy, a dual band, a tri-bander, to a wide band antenna where you see everything. Okay, transmitter test. From the low end of the spectrum, the lowest I could go is 51 megahertz, and six meter band, and power out. This is forward, and it's almost four watts. Now let's do reverse or reflected power. That's the measurement that, that's most critical. That looks like almost one watt. It's about 800 uh, milliwatts. And uh, that's definitely past 10%. So six meters on this antenna is it's not a good idea to transmit on. Let's move on. Okay, this is a uh, ham band, 145 megahertz, two meters. So forward power on this puppy will be five and three quarter watts. That's pretty damn good. Now let's see what the reflective power is. It hardly even moves and I'm transmitting here. So this, this antenna is really good for transmitting on two meter uh, band there, VHF. Let's try that in, at a uh, 
VHF public safety frequency, like 158 dot something. I won't say what. So this is uh, forward, and I got almost five watts coming out of there. Four and three quarters. Now the reflected. It moved just a little bit there, if you can see, but that's not 10% of four and three quarters of a, of a watt, so it's still considered good or within spec. So it works off on public safety frequencies for transmit. Okay, here we got 442, somewhere in the uh, UHF ham band. So forward power on that is more than 2.5 watts. Uh, this slug here is for 2.5 watts, so it's pegging it out, so I can't tell. But we could check reflected, and that's the important measurement for a, a good antenna. So we'll transmit. And it's hardly moving. So you, you could transmit on UHF hand bands. Now let's try public safety, 450 around there. And reflected on that, it got a little bit worse. But I don't think that's 10% of, uh, of uh, reflected power. That right there is a quarter of a watt reflected. So it's still good on that range there. Okay, now this is 800 megahertz around there, 840 something, 850 something, somewhere around there. So let's check this out. Forward power, and again, this is a 2.5 uh, slug, so it's gonna peg it out. And I'm thinking it's about five watts. That's what this radio is rated for. So it's pegging it out there. So reflected, that's the important measurement. That is less than a quarter watt. And that's just below uh, it considered being bad, but it's still within spec. Uh, it's not 10% of, of the full rated power going out, so it's still good. So the two disc cone antennas that we've seen in two different locations, different elevation, uh, different years of being installed out in the field, they still uh, hold, held up pretty good after all these years, I guess. And uh, they look pretty good as well, being all stainless steel. Except for the one here that, that had one leg or, or uh, rod uh, falling off of it. Now here's another type of so-called uh, all-band scanner antenna. And this one is an old one. Uh, this I demolished uh, after I bought the property. It was uh, up in the air for who knows how many years, but this used to be black and it's cracking and everything. So it took quite a bit of punishment over the years and it's all rusted out and anything. Of course, I'm not gonna measure this. I could just imagine what's how it's performing. But on my patio, I got a brand new model, same model that I found in the shop. Uh, brand new in the package and I sort of installed it in my uh, home uh, at the time. We don't use this anymore. Uh, this is an antenna specialist MONR31 and then you have your uh, counterpoise on the side there in the bottom. Really old design. It's been around for generations literally and it's pretty big and, and supposedly the specs on this is also 25 megahertz up to a thousand megahertz. And it's not the same design as the disc cone antennas. So we're gonna test this one out and see how it performs because I'm kind of skepti skeptical now about its uh, claims. And like I said, this was free, so I, I totally installed it in my location here for, for my purposes. So, but I think after looking at the disc to cone antennas, I'm gonna switch as big time. Anyway, let's see how this operates. Doesn't look like the other two examples that I've show, shown you guys. Here is my cutoff point for either a good antenna or a bad antenna. The other two examples, the disc, disc tone cone in, antenna, showed it to be around this level around here. And, and it performed uh, pretty well, despite it being on the, on the edge there. And this one here, you see most of it, on average, most of it is up here within the... Uh, Let's see, eight, nine, five dB level, which kind of turns out to be a bad 
uh, return loss for that particular antenna. And I see three dips here. One, two, three. And it looks to me that this is uh, the two meter range, 150 megahertz around there. UHF range around 500 megahertz around here. And this, uh, I don't know, maybe 800, uh, possibly. But it kind of looks to me uh, that it's a uh, tri-band antenna instead of a all-band uh, antenna. You don't see that nice flat sort of dip across the whole spectrum and then back up again. You see three distinctive dips and the rest of them is up here where, where it's, it's no better than a, than a copper wire uh, that's not tuned. So this antenna really is not that great and it looks like the disc tone disc cone antenna can't even say that word uh, is your best bet if you want to really uh, scan uh, your, your frequencies out there uh, efficiently throughout the bands uh, nothing's better than 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 an antenna that's properly tuned to the frequency that you want to look at but if you want to do the whole spectrum and not deal with it that, that's a good bet right there well, let's transmit into the, the into this like I did the other test and see what the performance is there. Okay, here we go. Six meters, 51.2 megahertz. And forward power is five watts. Now, reflective power, that's the reading that you want to pay attention to. We don't want no reflective or as minimal as possible, at least 10% less. And I'm kicking out almost two watts. So that's like, what, two thirds uh, of the reflective power coming back to me, way over 10%. That condition will, will definitely blow up your radio or the transmit amplifiers and, and transistors and stuff. So that's what you want to avoid at all cost uh, in any radio. That's why antenna propagation and matching your antenna and tuning your antenna is more important than the gear itself actually so here's two meters 144.2 megahertz and forward power is a little bit over five watts just a hair over now reflective uh, that looks like uh, almost a quarter of a watt and to me that's borderline not good uh, this, this antenna is definitely not acting uh, the way that the other two did uh, it's less efficient for sure now here is 158 dot something I'm not going to tell you the specific but it looks like it's uh, a little bit over six watts and that's pretty good for this little radio but uh, let's see what the reflective is it's almost half a watt and that's not good that's uh, totally uh, over 10% so it's not good in any of the bands so far to transmit on well let's go 440 I think I could punch that in real quick 442 forward power on that would be three watts and reflected will be almost uh, one watt and uh, that is not good at all that's over 10% so no good for VHF either all right let's try 800 800 megahertz I get two watts out of this radio somewhere in around 840 something something like that 850 and I reflected Wow that's too much doesn't work on 800 either so this uh, old style antenna is no good the single whip kind of design and they kind of lied about saying that they're all band is actually a tri-bander and you've seen the evidence there girl gate going 10 10. <laughs> 